All right, now let's talk about cellos. This is a full-size cello, and we're going to talk about taking your cello out of its bag. Always make sure your cello uh, is in a safe place, a flat uh, floor or a flat large table where you're able to take out your cello safely. There are usually two zippers on the cello case. Undo both of your zippers. Open up the case. Gently take out your cello. Put the bag safely away. And you've taken your cello out of the case. Now we're going to name the parts of the cello. Starting with the scroll, peg box, four pegs, fingerboard, four strings, bridge, tailpiece, four fine tuners. You have an upper bout, a C bout, F holes, lower bout, and a peg. Now I'd like to talk about some of the accessories that come with your cello. You have a bow and rosin. See our section on bows to find out the parts of the bow and how to rosin your bow. You have a rock stop and the way the rock stop works is you set it on the floor, you put your peg of your cello into the rock stop. This will prevent your cello from sliding across the floor while you play. And when we rent cellos, we also provide a pitch pipe. Now I'd like to talk about the parts of your bass. This is a very small bass. This is an eighth size bass. Many of you will have a bass this size. Some of you will start with a bass that's a little larger than this. I'd like to name the parts of the bass starting up at the top here. We have the scroll, peg box, we have four tuning machines, and these also act as fine tuners on a bass. You have your fingerboard, your four strings, your adjustable bridge, and you can tell it's adjustable because of these two metal discs. They will raise and lower the bridge. Do not do that on your own. Have your teacher or your string repair person make that adjustment for you. We have the upper bout, the C bout, F holes, lower bout, tail piece, and peg. Now I'd like to talk about the accessories that come with your bass. Of course you have a bow and you have rosin. If you'd like to know that the parts of the bow and how to use the rosin, please see our bow section. And you have a rock stop. The rock stop's purpose is to prevent your bass from sliding on the floor. So you put it on the floor, you put your peg in the hole of the rock stop, and then you're ready to play. Now let's name the strings. These strings would be in the open position. Open position means no fingers on the fingerboard. On your bass, the skinniest string is a G. Next string, D. Next string, A and the thickest string is an E. On your cello, the skinniest string is an A, next string, D, next string, G, and the thickest string, a C. On your viola, they're the same. A is the skinniest string, D, G, and the thickest string is in C. 
And on your violin, skinniest string, E. Next, A. Next, D. And the last, G, the thickest string. Now I'd like to talk about the sound post. Every string instrument has a sound post in it. As you can see inside this violin we cut in half, the sound post is the metal stick that touches the top of the violin to the back of the violin. This has two functions. One is it helps resonate the sound through the instrument to make the instrument sound better. And it also supports the top of your instrument on the E string or the skinniest string side. You can also see your sound post through the F hole. Now if your sound post ever falls down, you're going to hear this sound. At your earliest convenience, we'd like you to get it to your music store for us to set that sound post back up again. Our